Hello YouTube and welcome back. Um, this is Cobra Kaltzu with that games. And this is NBA 2K12. Um the video you can see, I already made my guy, he's already set up to play. Um he's gonna be a shooting guard, a scoring shooting guard, so we get a lot of points going on his career. Um This is my second attempt at this. My first attempt was on my original account because that game's um, pretty much was dead because um, uh, Frenzy Rebel is in college. 93 Madzilla is also in college and does not want to post under 15 minutes. He likes he likes his uh, current account, and I am wrapped around with work. But with a recent discovery yesterday that we had um, that we actually got a YouTube partnership. Um, that we can actually watch videos on 15 minutes. I decided just to put this together and show it. So, um, the commentators who actually commentate in this game are going to talk in a second. I recommend you pause this video right now if you want to check out the goals and check out what the Ricky Showcase is all about. But I'm going to let those guys talk and I'll be right back. Welcome everyone as we get our first look at the future of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan and as always I'm joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Today we're going to get a chance to watch the top prospects in the draft battle it out here in the Rookie Showcase. All the stars of the past March tournament on display here and no doubt everyone on the floor will be looking to make an impact and turn some heads. You know all the focus won't be on the guards as there are some very intriguing big men looking to up their draft stock. Should be fun. So let's take a look at the State Farm starting lineup for the stars. So guys, there actually is no uh, starting lineup. But your guy comes out and he acts like he owns the place. He's talking to everybody here. Or he's giving him a nice handshake. I don't know why the ref actually let him do this. Which happened before the game, but it's whatever, I guess. Um, But the rookie showcase is pretty much for people that aren't top prospects to improve their draft status and improve their uh, draft selection. And I start off taking a three, and I miss. But and then I stop the fast break, but that guy just dunks all over me. So now the best to start off the game, but start to start. Um, NBA 2K12 has better for starting off your rookie because your guy can actually play. I remember playing last year the scouting combine and your guy was stink and you have to cover John Wall and all these other good guys and that was almost impossible. And they're going on offense and here is Anderson. Good pass. It seems like an easy shot. That's in. That was the three points for us. And the stars have possession. I'm covering the wrong guy. I'm teaching playing point guard. Davis, Brown. Inside pass. We get some D on that. And, and a rebound. Goes to the elites. So we're it down the court. Inside. Here's pass McDaniel. inside. Goes up Dan with a good pump fake, and it's not good. Al Gibson. Gibson pass to me. Too far for a three. Step back. Wide open shot. There it is. And the shot is good. He has five. The stars trail by six. Backing down is Brown. No good. So the elites will take it the other way. They're on a fast break. No one's coming in the three. Step back, step in. They get shut down. I'm taking an easy shot. There's again. And good on the basket. Book it. That much room. There I'm open deep. Range, oh, I pass it too much. Shoots it up. And Anderson gets it to go. <laughs> I got the assist. Mashing A trying to get the ball. I got the assist. Chance here to make an impression with so many right now. highly regarded and, and rightly so. I mean, you can just see the potential. Brown, Patterson defending. It's horrible D, but we get blocked. Another block. Two blocks back to back, and we're going down court. Nice shot, and it's in. 
Nice team effort right there. Best open shot right there. There we go, there's an opening. That's in. 90 for 9 points in the game so far. That's for sure. Try to get our shot. Okay, it's deep, deep play right here. Shoot three. And it's in. And the elites lead by 17. You know what? I've got to admit it. I mean, I've been pleasantly surprised with how well this kid's been playing. Well, not a guy penciled in among those top picks in the draft, but he's certainly been right at the top of, of his form in this game. Loose ball, puck with all three. Douglas kicks it to Try to get a steal, didn't work. And it's Martin picking him up. Here is Anderson. Full court pressure here in the man to man. Boy, it takes a lot of energy uh, for both teams in this kind of situation. Zella playing full court press. Trying to drive the ball in. Wide open three. Patterson, and there it is. The from deep. My, you have to be impressed with some of the passes he's making out there. Passes it to Davis. Backing in. Pass Post. to Mason. Back to Davis. Post again. Up top, Brown. Let's pick that ball free. Find the shoot. And, that, and he keep it alive. keeps it in. And that's going to be a turnover. They no. called for eight seconds. It's eight seconds by later. Starting to lose their way out there. If we would actually got that ball, it would have been a steal. But eight seconds by later. So worth for me. Silly, unnecessary. So offensively, they're looking good. I'm trying to get some opening here. I can't get anything past this guy. Had to pass off for the easy shot. Is it in? There's a nice shot from deep. When I, ran, I heard that guy had 16 points, I want to step it up. So there's an easy drive in, drive in layup. And I tie this guy with 16 for top scorer, and I want to top him, so I gotta get a couple more points. He's starting to pull a comeback right now, They're only down by six. That's where you get high percentage looks and draw fouls, Steve. Uh, make a, a move here. Oh, no. Pull out. Easy He's shot. Got There's it in. He's got 18. Sister yeah, coming back. We got my six points. You to be a, bit more creative in that a lot bigger comebacks than that. Make a move. A little bounce big. with a little help, and that's in. in. Here is Anderson. On the court, the the open pick. shot right there. And there it is. He's got 22. Look at their scoring mid range, and that's the final. So it's the elites winning this one easily. Well, it was a fun one, but the elites just so I got a pretty good stats. A little bit of so, um, 22 here. points, the stars as the uh, a couple rebounds, six or so game, assists, one block. I mean, <laughs> if that no matters, so, it, I don't think I end up with a steal. I don't think that ever happened. Um, I got a good couple attempts. It's a good thousand points to start me off. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to the draft interviews. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and not talk, or not talk their most of them. I should say I'm gonna kind of side commentate. But uh, the draft interviews, you they get three teams, and you wanna talk these three teams like you would normally. So if you wanna go to these three teams, you can go and diss them all and not go any of them. If you want to go against your teams, you can talk to them good and go to them. So let's go with the Utah Jazz talk. Hello, and nice to meet you. I'm the director of player personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you'd fit in with what we do here. We realize that here in Utah, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Utah Jazz. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Utah Jazz. Are you that person? My opinion, that's, that's asking pretty much a lot. I don't know if I can guarantee my career here. So I pick maybe, not sure. I really think I'd enjoy being a member of the Utah Jazz. It, it's hard for me to tell you right now that I would want to play my entire career there, though. I mean, so many things can happen. You feel me? So many things can change. I'm not saying that it's something that can't happen. I just don't want to mislead you right now. I would definitely love to be a member of your team. 
In my opinion, I thought that was pretty good. Comment. All right, then. One more. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? Um, I said yes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, these teams aren't drafting you to be a dead weight at the end of the bench. They want results, and I totally understand that. It's my responsibility to live up to those expectations. Man, I just hope I can do it. But that was okay, two pretty good reactions. We got what we needed. Appreciate you taking the time to meet with us. It's like I said, what I said, what I thought I should say, and they think they are thinking of me. Apparently, so. Nice job out there tonight. Your play really impressed us so much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available when our turn comes up. Before we get that far, we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? I said the most what you actually want to do. And that's why. And then there's Justin logging on, so I had to stop for a second to check it out. Um, but why is pretty much the greatest of all time? And that's what you want to do as a career in your career, pretty much. Me? I want to be the greatest of all time. If anyone answers you differently, well, they're either lying to you or they don't have the competitive fire to be great. I don't want to be great. I want to be the greatest. I want rings. I want MVP awards. All of those accolades. I want people to talk about me 50 years from now. And they will. Just watch, man. I've got the fire. I've got the drive. And you know what? I'm ready. If my guys have in their rings, it might be a good comment. But I didn't think the end part That's after the question. rings. Being in the NBA brings a lot of responsibilities. And some people just aren't ready for it, if you know what I mean. What are your plans once you get that first paycheck? In my head, I'm trying to say that I'm thinking Vegas. But as you see, that's not an option. So I picked A. I honestly don't have it. As you don't know. To be honest, that's something I haven't given much thought. Right now, I'm completely focused on my game and getting drafted in the lottery. Hopefully top five, man. That'd be nice. Well, I can see that we are not a match, unfortunately. Yeah, I thought I'd take two good reactions, draft, but man. apparently he didn't like that. So Milwaukee Bucks is out of the picture. You know, Houston Rockets. Greetings. I'm the GM and director of player personnel for the Rockets. In addition to the 14th pick, we also have the 23rd pick in the upcoming draft and are looking at you with one of those picks. We'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple of questions. Let's get to it. It looks to me like you are a tried and true shooting guard. That is arguably our strongest position in Kevin Martin. Kevin doesn't really like to move up to the three, but he plays it in a pinch. He's definitely our guy. We love your talents. I want to know if you've ever given any thought to perhaps playing up as a small forward. That was kind of a question mark for me. Um, in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, I'll, I'll play small forward. But I think I don't want to play small forward. I don't play shooting guard. That's the whole point of my position. So I think you're pressing B. And that's a big change. One I think I might be able to get behind. I'm willing to do anything to help the team out, but I also need to look out for myself, you know? I feel like I need to be able to continue developing my game as I know it in addition to playing some small forward. If you guys think you can accommodate that one simple request, then yeah, I'm your guy. So that was a pretty good reaction right there. Okay, last question. As a younger team, I feel like we have a lot of opportunities for you. I'm here to tell you that you have a chance to be our franchise centerpiece if you put in the work. How many other teams can offer you that? That being said, we still have a couple years ahead of us where we're going to be acquiring young talent and assets. We might struggle a bit in those years. Are you going to be able to remain focused during the rebuilding years? This guy just said Kevin Martin's our lead man, and now they're telling me I want to be their centerpiece? You can't have two centerpieces. Well, you can, but not the same position. That really confused me. I said, yeah, it'll be tough, though. X. I've never really lost in my entire life. I've always been good enough to propel every team I've ever been on to success. I realize the NBA will be different in that regard, at least at the start of my career. This will really test my patience, but as a man, I'm up for the challenge. I know I would have my man Kevin Martin there to help carry the load. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. 
So Jazz and Rockets here looking in interest towards me. Milwaukee Bucks said no, so. Um So yeah. Uh draft starts. And I was not projected to go early. A twelve to the Jazz. And they wanted me. So like that was gonna happen. Then let's go and start it. Good evening and welcome to the 2011 NBA Draft. For the talented young men hoping to hear the names called tonight, this is a moment they and their families have long dreamed of and will never forget. To those here in the audience and those watching at home, thank you for joining us. Let's get to it. First pick is from Michigan. With the first pick in the 2011 um, NBA this, Draft, this draft is a uh, completely mock. It's 100% fake. Doug? It's this position of your thing. Um, so, Doug Martin and someone else With from Ohio State gets picked right here. Um, draft, happens every single time. Everything else does get switched up. You never see these guys, at least so far, I haven't seen You never see these guys um, in the game. So, I think it's With just the to be there if you're going to have to give this top box. Okay. Draft, but otherwise, I think it is. Um, Gibson from the University of Tennessee. Uh, yeah. I do see Gibson though, so maybe this is true. But, With the fourth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Larry Douglas from the University of Florida. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NBA, Eric. Anderson from Louisiana State. So University. after Charlotte picks, uh, Milwaukee Bucks is the first thing that contested with the getting me. With the tenth pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Sam Park. But from the I pretty University much told them of off, so they, they picked the point guard. Um, up next is Golden State Warriors. My other guy, with Golden State Warriors, interested. In I just want to know if it was picked by me. The and Golden sure enough, State Warriors select. George it wasn't. Turner from the University so I got lucky there. I got happy. They, they also picked a shooting guard. So now it's the Jazz. With the 12th pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Ricky Reed. From and the that right University. there was a shocker. I was supposed to go with the Jazz. They picked a different shooting guard. With the 13th pick in the 2011 so NBA Draft, maybe Suns? the Phoenix Suns select Dennis Jones from and again, no, they picked a they picked a power forward. With the 14th so pick here's in the, the Rockets. 2011 so NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select the 19-year-old shooting guard. And there I go. The Rockets with Kevin Martin. And there's my stats, pretty good. Let's go get my career started and contract negotiations for your first time is non-negotiable but hey what can you say it's a rough contract it's stuck rookie year so guys come back next time when i play the rookie year but before i leave you guys i decided to go to the depth chart or the uh roster and see how good Kevin Martin is compared to me, how many minutes he gets. Okay, now Kevin Martin's in 79. That's not something to rest your, rest your career on, but I don't know. I'm trying to point guards right now, but then I go to, uh, I thought I go shooting guards right now. Apparently I like shooting guards. There we go. I got guitar there as a location. Um, yeah, so he has uh, 34 minutes. It's hard for me to get some time here unless he drops a lot. So I don't know about that. Um, but guys, this is Cobra Kyle 2 with Dead Games. And this is me saying um, goodbye. And see you guys next time. Uh, come back next time and we'll play our first key game.